Good morning, everyone. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning, Dynamite Service with explosive results. So we are gonna be doing a pool enclosure and a pool deck. Um, it's a paver pool deck and we are going to sand and seal it. We are going to be using a invisible penetrating sealer that's more of a waterproofer. Uh, it's got a seven to 10 year uh, life expectancy. Um, and, uh, and it really prevents cracking and staining. It's a great water repellent. It's the only sealer on the market that's um, uh, Department of Transportation approved um, in multiple states. So um, it's a really great product. It's a little expensive, but it's really, really a quality, quality sealer. Um, and that's the SX5000, SX5000 water-based. Um, so uh, we are gonna finish up some driveway, a half moon driveway, a sidewalk and a curbing. But I wanted to show you this morning um, uh, what you can do to alleviate some of this uh, white haze that you see. So that um, is not hard water staining, but that is efflorescence or the flowering of salts. Um, and so a little muriatic acid on the bottom there right along there that's not a georgia brick where it's supposed to be white otherwise you'd see that in through there so that's um that, a little muriatic acid even front nine restoration eflo uh, would treat that uh, so I'll, I'll shoot that on there we're going to clean up um all of the pavers along here <clears throat> now if you're sealing a paver pool deck and the pavers come outside of the pool cage, make sure you're sealing out around the outside of the pool cage. In this particular case, we just need to clean up the foundation. And you can see kind of what the condition that that foundation is in. Um, you can really see that, that uh, you know, that organic matter alongside there. So we'll get that all cleaned up. Um, I'll show you over here, it's even, even more prevalent. Um, and you have things like this, you know, um, your little pieces of, tree that gets stuck in there, moss, lichen begins. Um, and so you can sort of see what that looks like. Um, so we are gonna use the X-Jet with a light solution. Um, we have some pollen, we have a great deal of pollen. I'm gonna take you inside this pool deck and show you um, the chamfer edge, what the joints and seams look like. Um, and uh, we're, the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna treat for efflorescence. Um, so efflo is heavy, heavily present. Uh, we do have oxidation, so if you look, you can see already we have oxidized cage, so you want to be careful how, how much pressure you're applying on those screens. Um, and I'll show you down here, you can see your pollen that's built up, so that pollen will get rinsed away. You can see what your joints and seams look like, so those really need to be dug deep. Um, in some cases, a turbo tip is highly recommended. Um, so. We're gonna play that by ear, but you can see down here, you've got your rust, you've got your moss, you've got very dirty joints and seams, pollen. And if I show you over here, you can really begin to see uh, this white cloudy haze. So we're gonna be using an acid to bring that up. Um, we're gonna use uh, Eflo and we're gonna use muriatic. So, uh, First, we're gonna treat with Eflo, um, and then we're gonna come in with some muriatic if we have to. Um, and wear your mask when you're doing that. But you can just sort of see what these seams look like, and you can see how tight they put extra uh, pieces of paper in there to really tighten things up, um, you know. And uh, so this is a serious uh, cleaning effort. Um, uh, decent deck, um, you know, but you can see your weed growth that's in here. You know, so got to get all those weeds out of there. Got to kill everything underneath there. Make sure you're really tightening up along here, getting between the screens, getting all of this out, completely out. And I want to show you something else uh, that the muriatic is going to be really good for. Um, and I'm going to show you here calcite and calcium. Um, and you can really see it. It even has its own little icicles. <laughs> like stalactites or stalagmites, whatever the case may be. Um, you've got some organic matter dripping out through here, joints and seams really heavy. And then you've got, and this, you may need to chisel that off. That may not come off. So you may need to work on that a little bit. 
um, but be very, very careful how you scrape that because you do not want to be scraping this tile, but you do need to break through that uh, before you can treat the surface. Um, you can see what that looks like. Pretty serious, right? I'm gonna take a picture of that because that's serious. All right, guys, I'm gonna get to work. I gotta finish up. Um, your X-Jet, I'm gonna show you up here. Your X-Jet can get a lot of those pine needles out of there. So just work on those. Don't use a high pressure tip. The X-Jet will, will uh, knock those out and make things look good. Make sure you get their super gutter clean for them. And um, it's a brisk day, it's in the 50s. I'll turn you around here so you can kind of see the, uh, the organic matter that's on the screens. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we'll get that all treated nice and pretty. Maybe I'll get a better view from over here, no? No. Anyway, I hope everyone's having a great day. I'm gonna take some before pictures and get started. Take care, everyone. This will be a pool deck restoration. Nice clean slate to work with. All the furniture's off except for that table and we'll move that and uh, we'll make this thing look beautiful in no time. Take care.